because I see so many people doing this stretch wrong. Hi guys, my name is Amanda Lees. I'm a physical therapist and personal trainer and that means I help women just like you get in the best shape of your life. In today's video, I'm going to show you my favorite hip flexor stretches. I'll show you an easy, an intermediate, and an advanced version. So no matter where you are in your hip flexor mobility journey, you can find a stretch that works for you. If you can hear something in the background, that's my washing machine. A girl has to do her washing. It's Saturday when I'm filming this video and this is my day to kind of clean up my whole house and get everything in order. But I also wanted to make this video because I see so many people doing this stretch wrong. Personally and professionally, I have experienced that this muscle, when it's tight, can be the cause of back pain, can be the cause of that, you know, like the annoying pain, like you feel like, right, like here, maybe on both sides, maybe on one side. That back pain can be caused by a thousand things. So I'm not saying this is the cure for everything, but I'm saying that this stretch in many cases that I've seen professionally and even personally for myself, this muscle is actually two muscles into intertwining into one muscle and you can have tight muscle but you can also just have trigger points in this muscle today i'll just show you the stretch which will help stretch it out and release any tightness but i think later on if it's uh, something you want to see i'll also show you the massage scripts that go in and actually press on those trigger points release the tension in this muscle and the problem with this muscle is the reason why you get back pain even though the muscle is kind of on the inside from the inside of your spine is the upper part and the other part is from the inside of your pelvis so almost like inside your hip and then they run together down and attach on the femur so here on your front thigh so imagine coming here from the inside of your spine running down then it meets the other part here from the inside of your hip and they both run down together and sit on your thigh and that's why we can do this lift our leg but this muscle gets tight and the brain can't see it so the brain thinks all right where's the nearest area that i know okay that's the back so let me tell this person that's pain in their back and then we go to see chiropractors physiotherapists and we work a lot about on our backs but the real reason that the reason why we have this pain might be from our hip flexors it can also just be that you feel like this muscle is tight and you want to stretch it with our lifestyles where we sit a lot we drive our cars we literally sit in like a contracted position with this muscle all the time and put a lot of stress on it when we drive our cars, lift our legs and all the other things we do. Then we go to the gym and we do squats, we do leg lifts, all these other movements that also put stress. So we need to stretch out this muscle. I would actually go as far as saying that everyone could use this stretch. I know that's a big thing to say, but I honestly believe that that's how it is. So this video will be applicable to every single person out there. If you don't know the stretch, you should start doing it. And I'll show you now how it's done. I'll show you the beginner version first. And right now I'm in my house and you can do it at home, but you can also do it in the gym. You can do it wherever you are. I'll show you these three variations now. First, the beginner version. Second, the intermediate version. And then the more advanced version. So if you're ready to see this magical stretch, Let's uh, let's get into the video. So if you're a complete beginner, you've never done any type of a hip stretch before, I recommend starting with this exercise. Again, I'm at home so I don't have my mat, otherwise you can just use a gym mat and make you fold it. But a pillow or a towel that you fold also works. You just need something as a cushion for your knee. So I'm going to take my pillow, place it here on the floor and get into a kneeling position. So let's say I want to stretch my left hip, place the left knee down, take a step forward with my right knee and I want to have about 90 degrees in both knees, then I'm in the right position here. So now from here, here we have the arch, when you arch your lower back there's no tension on that hip flexor, we take the tension away. So to put tension back on the hip flexor and stretch it out, you want to pull your tailbone in between your butt cheeks, make a nice flat lower back and then you want to squeeze your glute and push forward. Sometimes what happens when you push forward is you're trying to lead back. And again, now there's no real tension on that hip flexor. So you want to keep your upper body, shoulder, hip and knee in a nice straight line. Shoulders back, 
abdominal muscles active, pull your belly button to your spine, just keep some tension in your core, and then you squeeze that butt cheek forward, and you'll feel a nice stretch here on the front of the hip. And you just stay here, I recommend holding this stretch for 40 seconds, 30 to 90 seconds. I think the sweet spot is around 40 seconds. And then you can repeat that two times, three times, depending on how tight this muscle is. After holding it on this side, you switch. And again, if you're a beginner, if you think balance is difficult, just make sure you do it close to something that you can just kind of hold on to, to give you a little bit of balance. Again here, tuck it down and get that nice stretch down the other side. Make sure you stay right up and down. You don't want to lean forward. You don't want to lean back. You just want to stay here in this position. And hold the stretch again for 40 seconds. Now, if you want to challenge yourself a little bit more, we have the second version. So you want to place your pillow, I want to say about one foot in front of a couch. And the perfect height of the couch would be just around here, like behind the knee. So it's about the same height as your shin. You can do it if it's lower. Um, you can also do it if it's higher, but it's not going to be as comfortable. So this, about this height, maybe this could be a little bit higher on me. That's the perfect height. So what you want to do is place your knee down on this cushion that you have, and then you place this part of your ankle, the edge of the couch, and I can see my pillow needs to come back a little bit. So you want to place your knee down on this cushion about one foot away from the couch. Other leg goes back up. And now again here, you're going to tuck your tailbone down and back and get that nice stretch. It's going to be more powerful this time because we are stretching our quadriceps muscle as well. That's the other hip flexor. So we have two hip flexors, actually three, but two of them are one muscle, as I explained. So now we have a stretch on both hip flexors. And it's going to feel even more powerful. And as we did before, we want to do both sides. So you're going to change and place that foot up about one foot in front. Finding your stretch, tailbone down and back, upper body nice and straight. So that was the easier version, beginner version and the intermediate version. Now for the advanced version. And it's quite similar thankfully, so you don't have to learn a lot of new stuff. You just push this pillow closer to the couch and now the goal is to get that knee down as close to the couch as possible. So you can really stretch our hip flexors, both our quadriceps and our iliopsoas muscles. And by bending the knee fully, posterior tilting our pelvis and extending our hips, we get the most powerful stretch possible. I'm coming in here as close as I can be. And then again, I push my hips slightly forward. I tuck my tailbone in between my butt cheeks. Get this really powerful stretch down the front of my thigh. Squeeze my butt cheek forward as much as I can. And I stay here and breathe. Belly button on. So I like to say I squeeze a little bit here for my, for my abdominal muscles. And then I squeeze again here for my hips. So I kind of have like a corset almost like tightening on both sides. Really, really increasing that stretch down the front of the thigh. And once I've done my 40 seconds here, I'll switch. Again, I always make sure I have about 90 degrees in that front knee. My shin is vertical, perpendicular to the floor. That back leg is bent as much as possible, tucking that tailbone in, pushing my head forward, but without moving, arching my back. I keep my back nice and straight, nice and flat. Squeeze my right glute forward. So stay here. And I breathe. It's painful. I'm not gonna lie, it's painful but after it feels so much better. And again, I hold this for about 40 seconds. And that is it. As you can see, you can do this stretch anywhere you are. You just need a couch or a chair, something to put your 
foot up on if you're doing one of the more advanced positions and then you need something as a cushion under your knees so we don't put a lot of pressure on our kneecaps. We don't want to do that if we don't have to. And that's it. If you have back pain that doesn't really get fixed by your chiropractor or by you know massaging your back or whatever try and do this stretch if you have back pain when you run if you just have like a general feeling of tightness in your low back try and do this stretch I am not saying that pain is always a mechanical issue pain is like a very broad thing and in one little YouTube video here, I'm not even gonna try and attempt to cover it all I'm just saying this stretch can help a lot of people and I don't think there's enough information out there about just how powerful this stretch is especially when it comes to chronic low back pain that doesn't really react respond to any other types of therapy if you want me to show you those massage grips where we can go in ourselves and do some self massage on the trigger points in the hip flexors let me know in the comments down below and i'll be happy to do that as well my name is amanda louise i'm a physical therapist and personal trainer and if you want more free content like this make sure you also check out my instagram and my blog where i post more free content like this every single week also make sure you subscribe to my channel so when i do this video if it's something you want you'll get notified that's all for me today. Thank you so much for watching and remember to train right and stay fit. Bye!